In this video, we're going to integrate Tetration with SecureX. In order for this integration to work, your Tetration cluster has to be internet accessible. To start this configuration, we're going to move over to our Tetration cluster. The first thing I'm going to do is copy the Tetration URL from the browser, since I'll need it later to generate a token. Then I'm going to click on the gear icon on the top right-hand corner and navigate to API keys. I'll click the Create API Key button to create a new key. I'm going to put SecureX as a description to keep track of which keys are used for what. This API key will need the following permissions. SW Sensor Management, Flow and Inventory Search, Users, Roles, and Scope Management, and Applications and Policy Management. Then I'll click the Create button. I'm going to copy the API key and secret right over to a notepad I have on the other screen. As you can see, I now have the new API key created. Next, we're going to use this key to create a token. To create a token, we're going to navigate to the following website, tetration-securex.link forward slash setup. We're going to paste our tetration URL in the first field, then the API key, and then the API secret, and then I'll click the Create Token button. That'll create the token on the bottom, which I'll copy. Now I'm going to swing back to my, my SecureX dashboard and navigate to Integrations. I'm going to add the Cisco Tetration module. To add this module, I have to paste the authorization token into it and then click Save. As you can see, I now see, have the Cisco Tetration module in my integrations. Now let's navigate to my dashboard, and I'm going to add all the Tetration tiles to this dashboard. Scrolling to the bottom, we can now see all of our three Tetration modules or tiles added. That's pretty much all there is to setting up this initial integration. Thank you so much for watching this video.